So, what is your name? I'm John Krosnick. I'm the drummer in Charged Particles. This is Aaron Germain. He's the bass player. Hi. Do you want to get interviewed one at a time or both of us at once? Um, one at a time. Okay. okay. <laughs> Welcome to you all. It's uh, delightful to be with you after a very long drive down from San Francisco to see you. Uh, great news, no traffic problems. <laughs> we are just so honored to be a part of this jazz series this summer at this beautiful library with your fabulous fish out there in the lobby, your high ceilings and all those great books. Um, let me give you an opportunity to introduce, uh, to say hello once again to the members of the group on the keyboards. That's Murray Lowe. <laughs> on the bass, Aaron Germain. <laughs> and on the drums, John Krosnick is my name. <laughs> so you heard that we are celebrating our 20th anniversary this year, and uh, we were born actually far away in Ohio, where I used to live, uh, where the band began. And a few years ago, the band migrated its way out here. And uh, over the course of our, our existence, we have played all over the United States, as far east as Boston, as far south as Texas, as far north as the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Sweden, and finally, we make it here tonight. <laughs> to Corona. Oh, that's an easy question to answer. There is a fabulous drummer who lives in Los Angeles. His name is Peter Erskine. I heard him when he was 19 and I was about 14. And I thought, that is the guy I want to play like in the future. Thanks, guys. Okay, so what is your favorite song to play? Ooh, that's very hard. You know, there are so many great songs in the jazz repertoire. But uh, I had fun playing that last one. That last one we just ended our concert with is called Un Nuevo Dia and it's written by our keyboard player, Murray Lowe, and it's in the Afro-Cuban repertoire, and it features a nice big drum solo, which is why. <laughs> Another friend of ours is a guy you might have heard of. His name is Chick Corea. He's a keyboardist, composer, band leader, record label executive, does all kinds of things. And um, I had the opportunity last August uh, to perform with him in Massachusetts, and we're gonna do something from that repertoire right now. Here's uh, Chick's piece called Got a match? Thank you. 
actually, you know, I started off the way many young musicians do, studying classical music. I studied classical percussion for a long time and uh, played in orchestras and concert bands and percussion ensembles. And when I heard Peter Erskine play jazz when I was 19, when he was 19, I thought, wow, this is really fun music. And so I was taken by the power of it and the emotion of it and the fun of it all. So I played classical percussion and jazz together for a long time and then I finally let go of the classical and do only jazz from now on because it allows for a lot of emotional expression while at the same time we're improvising almost everything we play. So it's different every time. It's fresh always. I like it. What do you think music 
music means to you? Oh, music means happiness to me. That's easy. That it's happiness playing it and it's happiness listening to it. My whole life is lived with music as a soundtrack. There's always music on in the background. And there's nothing like music to make me think a little bit and feel a little bit. All the whole range of emotions about being a human, you know, about being excited, being scared, having fun, yeah. feeling loving, all that stuff. So it's like life encapsulated in just a little, a little piece.